Hello and welcome back to another EAFC 24 player review. Today's player review is the brand new winter wildcard Chiro Mobile, so let's get into it. As always I start off with the team that I used for this review and as you can see it is a Serie A Premier League icon hybrid with Chiro Mobile up as a lone striker with Garnacho to his left and Adama to his right. So let's look at my stats after my three rivals games. Now on the screen are his stats. You can see I played three games in rivals, scored 13 goals and got one assist. So let's head into the gameplay. Okay, so into the gameplay for Mobile we go. First of all, Adama through to Mobile who smashes it home. Then Damian into Immobile, into Garnacho. Now, I personally thought he was offside. If he wasn't, well, clearly he wasn't. Then Immobile taking it past, I think it was Blanc. Then Alberto on the ball, into Immobile. La Croqueta somehow has the strength to win it back. And then a penalty. Normally I'd show how they got the penalty. Basically, Garnacho got absolutely mullered off the ball. Loftus cheek, cutting it back for Immobile. Very tidy play. Then second time Immobile, he got absolutely smashed off the ball. Then Alberto from the corner. Immobile winning it in the air. Then Balak into Loftus cheek into a mobile. Now the reason I shot so early was because I don't think my opponent was expecting it. Sending Rio Ferdinand back to Leeds. Balak on the ball, taking it through. I mean that's a fantastic through ball. A mobile tucks it away. I thought he was going to miss, but fortunately he didn't. A mobile once again. My opponent moved his goalkeeper. Immobile running through, taking it past the goalkeeper. Into the final clip we go, so I'll be back with the pros and cons in a second. So now that you've seen the gameplay for Immobile, moving on to the pros. First of all is his pace. Now, despite having 89 pace, he is actually a lot, lot quicker. Now, I applied a marksman, which makes him controlled lengthy. And being controlled lengthy and having 89 pace basically does make him faster because of the run types. It's really, really stupid, but it is what it is. Shooting was absolutely incredible. Now, the marksman gives him 99 finishing, 93 shot power, and 95 penalties. I mean... There's not really much more you could ask for. Then his 83 composure is just a complete lie. Definitely felt more like 94-95. So, so clinical in front of goal. Hence why he scored 13 in 3. 90 heading accuracy. 99 jumping with a marksman. And then his strength is boosted up to 85 with the marksman. Just an absolute tank in the air. Then he has high medium work rates, 4 star skill moves, and to round off, a 5 star weak foot. On to the cons for Immobile. Now, first of all is his 78 agility. His balance being 87 is actually very very good. But his agility at times, he did feel just a little bit clunky. But it was never really too much of an issue. And then his second con is his 84 stamina. Now, considering I didn't really sprint with him a lot, he did seem to be very tired by the 90th minute. Now, obviously, that's no issue. You can obviously sub him off if you're playing champs. But to be honest, by that time, he's probably already scored five or six. So for me, it's not really a massive con, but it is still a con nevertheless. So would I recommend completing Winter Wildcards Chiro Mobile? And in my opinion, I would say yes. I would definitely complete this card. 
Now his SBC is coming in around 120k. A lot of people would probably say that's overpriced. I can already see people were saying on the market he would be 30 to 40k. Maybe he would, but for me, I just felt like I had to complete him. He's always just been one of my favourite strikers on the game. All the way back to FIFA 17, when I got him as a red pick from Champs. I mean, for me, he's never let me down. He's got great shooting. His pace is good. His dribbling's good. His physicals are good. They've boosted him up to a 4-star, 5-star. I mean, I don't really think there's much wrong with this card. As I said, his agility at times was a little bit off. His stamina, but as I said, you can just sub him. So for me, I just think you're not really just going to get SBCs at a good value anymore. So you just have to bite the bullet and take what you can get and I think this is a fantastic card pairing him with Winter Wildcard Balotelli they will be such a deadly duo I'd like to thank you for watching this video if you did enjoy it drop a like hit that subscribe button if you're new but for now I'll see you in the next one